Tyler McGee here wanted to go through a couple things. Uh, first off, hope everyone's doing good and uh, they're having some time with the family right now during this uh, uh, tough, tough time in the world. Um, but I hope first everyone's doing all right. Um, I wanted to talk through a little bit today uh, some things that I've been doing. I've been helping a lot of players online recently. Uh, if you're interested at all in that side of things, check out TylerMcGeeGolf.com. Uh, under online, there's a section there. You can email me uh, at my email, and I'll be able to uh, help you from afar. Um, today's session is sort of inspired by some of those online lessons that I've been given, uh, some tendencies that I've seen in some players, and some things to help uh, you at home. So, uh, we're going to talk a little bit today about the takeaway and getting to the top to set you up to be able to uh, get the club in a good position coming down. And I'll just sort of talk through a couple different sides of it and then we'll go from there. So um, with the takeaway, you know, everyone's different in how they produce force and transition. Uh, there's some things that I think... Uh, can help players though uh, overall. So if you're taking the club back uh, and you're, if your pattern is like one of the players today where the hands sort of elevate a little bit quickly and then the club wants to roll a little bit behind you, okay? So some things you'll notice here if you're looking a little bit at sort of how the arm works and, and how the club and the hands work. So the first move you see how it's the, the handle sort of works up high uh, quickly usually when that happens there's not much force going down this direction so i always like when players start to produce like a little bit of force with the handle a little bit down in this first move okay to help them sort of stay in in their posture and and keep everything activated um if if that's in that good of position here then from there basically where the elbow points is going to sort of maintain that as we keep going to the top if I was someone who sort of lifted it up and you see this arm rotate a lot and that elbow start pointing this direction, the club's usually gonna to work too much around uh, and that potentially could be an issue. The other thing I've seen before uh, more in high level players is the idea of trying to hold the face shut the whole time and actually twisting this arm this direction. Um, some, I, I see some players who are successful with that. I think functionally, I prefer to see it um, just rotate ever so slightly and then basically maintain that into the top position. From there, if I'm able to do that, so I get into this good backswing position, if this elbow is pointed down, it should help me keep this chest in a good position. If my elbow sort of rotates, at some point it's probably going to start pulling up this direction. So I like it to help sit the chest down push into that hip so we're in a good spot at the top, okay? So again, a little bit of a push down with the handle at the start, then maintaining where this elbow points as I get to the top to help me get into a good position, get the club in a good position. And then from there, I can be a little bit more passive, pushing the arms this direction as I start down and making sure the club can come from a good spot. You see how my lower body's still leading it? Basically, the hands are getting uh, the club and the, everything's pointed just to the right of the target at this point for a pretty neutral strike. And then from there, I can keep letting the hands move around. So give those cues a try. See if that helps your backswing position, if that's something you want to improve. It should help how you're loading through the chest, especially with this little bit of a push down and then this reach across maintaining that arm position. So I hope that helps. I hope that helps you load up a little bit better in your backswing.